Hey everybody, it's Pat with Bird Brain Model Rails again. Today, I'm going to discuss doing some landscaping. Uh, and, you know, a lot of us have materials that we either get in the mail or God knows what. But more importantly, one of those items would be a cardboard box, for example. In case somebody forgot what they look like. Now, most of us, you know, we throw boxes away all the time. I've learned that we can repurpose these for our landscaping needs. More importantly, I'm going to create a plowed field and a cornfield out of a cardboard box. So what we're going to need today is, of course, a cardboard box, a pair of hemostats, a safety razor blade, thus, a small paintbrush, like so, some glue, and that can be Woodland Scenic glue or Elmer's glue, it's the same glue, it doesn't matter. We're also going to want, and I use Woodland Scenic's Earth Undercoat for my paint. So, uh, and the reason I use a safety blade, thus, is because it's a lot sharper than one of these utility blades that you use in the utility knife. So I get a, I get a lot more accuracy and ease of use with this. Now, we're going to start with that piece of cardboard that I talked about, which is right here. And the first thing you want to do is you want to start peeling off one side of this paper. You want to expose what's underneath and you want to go a little slow. It's going to try and peel back and leave some behind. Not uncommon like, like that. So what we do here, let me just get to a point here where we can get to that. Bear with me a sec. We're going to get to here. Let's just assume that I've done all that. Then I can just take my, my thumbnail, just right through there, and just gently cut into that. And as I do that, I can get in here and grab a hold of that paper. I'll get peeled up here, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. It takes a little bit of doing, but it's not too awful bad. You just gently peel that. You want to expose those ribs or that corrugation in the cardboard, so to speak. Now, remember, now this corrugated cardboard can also be used for roofing and all kinds of other things. But for today, we're going to use it for a farm scenery. We pull this to the side because I've already got one that's done. And I'll show you what it looks like. This is what you end up with right here. You end up with a corrugated piece of cardboard, exposed. The next thing we want to do is we want to paint this. So we use our wooden scenics under undercoat right here. And I pour just a little bit of that into a small bowl. Now these small bowls, again, these don't cost, don't really cost me anything. Uh, because when I, when I first got them, they hold dog food. So you get these from the store with dog food for your pet. When you peel the top off and empty it into their bowl, I wash these and save them for my craft purposes. Makes them ideal for that. And of course, our paint's water-based, so it, you know, the cleanup is, is, is real quick and real simple. So we've got our corrugated cardboard, like I said, right here. So that's the start of either a plowed field or a cornfield, so to speak. So we're going to paint that, which I've already done. I'll show you that. And I've cut it down to what I want in size. So our finished product looks like that. So now at this point, I can use this. We got it what size I want. as it just a straight plowed field or a cornfield? Now to turn it into a cornfield, we're going to utilize our glue here. And do not, I, I don't run all the way down that rib. What I do is I hit about three spots. I start right about, well, my tip cleaned off there. Here with me a sec, guys. Get that glue out of there. There we go. All right, 
So I put just a little bit right here. I don't go all the way with it. I do it and then I hit the center with it. And then I come to the end. Like so. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to lay a corn row in there. Now these corn rows, these particular corn rows, are a bush product. I mean, they're made by bush. I got these off the bay, and there and, and each kit comes with 20 corn rows. There are 20 plants in each in each one of these rows. So all said and done on this particular slot, I'm gonna have 200 corn stalks. I want to try and get that a little bit straight. I want to stand up a little better. So about like so. Play with it a little. There. Now, for the next row, this is where the hemostats come in. I'm going to glue the second row, and I'm gluing in the indent of the corrugation, not on top where the ribs are. I'm going in between the ribs, like so, like so. And the reason I don't do all the way across is because this group glue, when it dries, is going to harden, and right now it's wet. So it's gonna make this cardboard curl just a little bit. So doing it, leaving the gaps in there allows me, and of course my fingers aren't gonna fit in there. This is where the hemostats come into play. So I take my hemostats and I get a hold of this cornrow like so. And I lay it, and that gives me, that allows me to get into that rib without but getting my fingers in the way. I hold the other end, like so, and just set that in that rib, right in there. You don't have to put, you don't have to apply a lot of pressure. You do want to look at it and make sure it's kind of upright, standing upright for you. So you want to adjust to the hair, just like so get it where it stands up a hair but it looks straight you want to look down the row of that and make sure and look and to me that looks nice and straight so from there instead of doing all this on camera and taking up a whole lot of time I'm gonna to go to the next step which is a completed section which looks like this And all those rows look nice and look nice and upright in there. And I've got a field of with 200 plants of, of corn stalk in there. Uh, now, the reason I said we don't want to glue all the way down that, that rib, I remember I mentioned it would curl just slightly. And it's not real visible on camera, but what this does in doing so, it leaves me some gaps in there where this where this car, where this the cardboard itself will flex for me. So when I glue it to the table, I can use pins and apply on an angle into my edges here and here and here and here and here and here and, here and flatten, out, flatten that out into my glue on my foam board, which gives it a, a nice feature. It makes it look real nice when I'm done. Now, I've got some more ideas to do with this as well. Uh, and like I said, you can do, you know, several different things with this. I mean, you don't have to use corn. You can use all kinds of plants and actually make a field for your farm. So, that being said, uh, I'll do another video uh, when I apply, start applying these to the layout. Guys, don't forget to like, hit the like button and subscribe. Uh, any questions or comments, please feel free to reach out. Y'all have a great day. Thank you.